I'm Sienna Bowles. Welcome to my channel, Learning Balance Life. And today, we're going to talk about an Olympiad standard sum on geometry. I'm going to read the sum before we can begin. Some cities are being connected in such a way that only 27 diagonal roads can be constructed between them, and no three cities are collinear. Which of the following can be constructed if the cities are connected by not intersected lines? The options are hexagon, octagon, nonagon can't be determined. Okay. Before we begin, I have to discuss something very important. That is, there is a formula. There is a formula to determine the number of diagonals in any polygon. That is n into n minus 3, the whole, by 2, where n is the number of sides in the polygon. Now, where is this coming from? You see, in this, we have some cities. We don't have the number of cities, but also we have the information that no three cities are collinear. That means from here we can understand that maybe these cities are connected in a form of a polygon. And anyways, even the options are names of polygons. So we can understand that there is some polygon connection of these cities. So Oh, because of that, and also we have information about that they are connect. They can be construct. They can construct twenty seven diagonal roads between them. So that means we can use this formula to equate it with these number of diagonals, twenty seven diagonals we have, and also we have got this formula. Let's consider number of cities as n. Let's consider. number of cities as n. In the, we, since this connection is polygon, these cities become the vertices of the polygon, and we know that number of vertices is equal to number of sides of the polygon. That means also number of sides in this is n only. So now that we have understood everything and we have considered this n, so this formula is working valid, where n is the number of sides in the polygon, now we can make an equation using this formula and the information about 27 diagonal roads that can be constructed. So our equation is n into n minus 3, the whole by 2, equal to 27. Let's do this. Or we can multiply the 2 on this side and we can um, do distributive law over here. n squared minus 3n equal to 54. 27 into 2 is 54. Or now let's bring this over here. Do a transposition. Now we have to factorize this quadratic polynomial. Can take um, common from these two pairs. Or n minus 9 becomes the common factor, and we are left with n plus 6 in the bracket equal to 0. We have done our factorization. Now, in this scenario, any one of them, either n minus 9 or n plus 6, can be 0. But in this case, there is some problem. Because we, since n is that we have considered n to be a number of cities, so n is a natural number, and n cannot be 0. 
That means in any case, n plus, if n is not zero, then n plus six also can't be zero. That means n plus six is not zero, and we're left with only one alternative, n minus nine equal to zero. Now we can get n, or n equals nine. That means the number of cities is nine, number of cities is 9, forming a 9-sided polygon that is a nonagon, forming a nonagon. And this is our final answer. Option C is the correct answer. So I'm giving you a few moments to look at the board and see how the sum was solved so that can totally clear your concept. Now we will discuss about another sum based on geometry. So this is our next sum. So Nakshi tried to cut out a piece of paper in such a way that one pair of opposite sides are both parallel and equal, but no two adjacent sides are perpendicular. Which of the following shapes can be formed by her? These are the options. Rectangle, square, rhombus, parallelogram. Okay. First, let us understand the main information in this sum. It is given that a piece, you know, she has cut the piece of paper in such a way that one pair of opposite sides are both parallel and equal. This part of the, sum, the main information tells us it may be a parallel ground. But at the same time, it is given that no two adjacent sides are perpendicular. That means it is not rectangular, because rectangle has right angles, but it, there, it's here it's telling that these adjacent sides are not perpendicular. That means it cannot be rectangular, it can't be a rectangle. So we are left with only one option, that is a, a parallelogram. So option D, parallelogram, is the correct answer. So I'm giving you a few moments to look at the sum and think on how we solved it and analyze the correct answer so that can sharpen your concept. Hope you enjoyed this video and please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more episodes. Thank you.